Hello and welcome back to All Right Guns. Um, today we're going to do a little video about shotgun cleaning, something I've wanted to do for a while, but being in lockdown we haven't been able to shoot or get a shotgun dirty, so uh, it's had to wait. But we're here now with uh, with my new Beretta uh, 694, so uh, let's have a look. Firstly, there's, there's two ways I clean a shotgun. Um, there's a quick way, which after I've been shooting, come back, give it a quick clean, and it goes back in the cabinet. There's also a longer term clean, that'll do probably maybe once every month or two um, we get a bit deeper but this is just the, the quick version so you've gone to the clay ground or gone out shooting you've come back first thing to do if it's been raining let everything dry out naturally not on heat just let the, the water come off and dry it with a towel and that's really important once you've done that you need to strip it down so fore end off barrels off and then we're just going to grab a oiled rag, not too much oil, just a little bit, and give it a, a quick wipe round on all the metal parts. And for a quick clean, that, that's all it really needs. Unless you've got it particularly dirty and uh, that's another issue. The main focus is going to be on these barrels. So first thing is a dab of cleaner, and this is an Apia. Um, I'm not really attached to it, it's just, it's it's fine, it's cheap enough, it comes in a massive can and lasts forever, so it's good. Give it a quick squirt down the barrels, and that's all it needs. And next, I've got this Bortec shotgun cleaning kit. Now, this is really good. I've been through quite a few different shotgun cleaning kits. Uh, I won't name names, but a lot of things fall apart and, and it's not great quality, but this one has been fantastic. Uh, I've had to get a second uh, brush for it, but you know that that's expected that that's going to wear. So let's take the bronze brush and put it on the rod I've already assembled. Okay, what we're going to do, we're just going to go down the bottom barrel and we just give it a bit more work at the this section here where you might have a plastic buildup and then a bit more at the, the choke end as well. And then we're going to do the top barrel. And that's it. So, always now give it another little quick spray of gun cleaner. Doesn't take a lot. And then we're going to lose the, the bronze brush. And this is why I really like the, the Bortec kit, is this jag. Um, it's, it's just much better than the... Uh, the normal bronze or plastic ones you get. So here's why my system I think is better than everyone else's. All you need is two squares of kitchen roll or paper towel. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half, score an edge, fold it in half again, and score that edge. And then we're going to tear it in half along the score line that we've just made there. I'm going to put that one aside. I'm going to get this one. And with this jag, you can see it's got a point on there, so it'll pin in the end of there. And we're going to go to the top barrel first. And just push it down. And then what we're going to do is turn this inside out and do the bottom barrel. Now sometimes it will do what it's just done and poke through, but that's okay. We just grab it where it's got a bit more meat. There we go, and send it down. Okay, now we turn the whole thing inside out and get it where it's not torn. To the top barrel. And the bottom. Okay. So now we get the, the other half of that. I'll just do the same thing. Top barrel. 
Turn it inside out. Bottom barrel. Then unfold it. Fold it back the other way. Top barrel. And bottom barrel. Now, you'll notice we're pushing everything one way. No backwards and forward motion, that's just going to move the dirt around. You're doing this way, make sure everything gets out of the gun. Now, we have the other square, and we're going to do exactly the same. Fold it two ways, and then tear it on the perforation. Top. And then we turn it inside out. And at the bottom. And you'll notice, every time we do this, it's less and less dirt coming out of it. Fold it inside out. Turn it the other way again, do the bottom barrel. Okay, yeah. Look, and there's almost nothing on there now. And then the last part. Top. Turn it inside out again. Bottom. And then for the last pass, unfold, refold. You'll see, there's next to nothing now on this. And that's it. So we're almost done. I like to, and it's not ever so necessary, but put one of these nice long wool ones through both top. Just give it a bit of a scrub, just to buff it. And again on the bottom, these have got tiny little bits of, uh, of oil on there as well, just to prevent rust in the barrel. And then the last step, take the jag off. Get this wool mop and only put it on a couple of turns. We push that all the way through and take it off. And we do it twice in the top barrel and twice in the bottom. That's so just a final push through. Again, this has got a little bit of oil on and it makes sure any fluff that was on the other rod that's, that's been pushed through as well. So now that's, that's clean. The only other things we need to do, get our oil impregnated cloth here. Let's give the barrels a good wipe over and around the action here. Put it back together and that's done. So that's a good quick method of cleaning if you've been out shooting and just want to get it in the safe quick. I say you should do a more in-depth cleaning involving waxing and uh, getting the chokes out, cleaning them, lots of other things that, that need doing, but this is a really good quick way just to stop any uh, any damage on the inside of your barrels, you know, before you go shooting next time. One last thing, and that's to use one of these uh, little cotton buds, Q-tips, um, just to get behind the ejectors and just give them a wipe around just so any dirt that you've, that you've moved around hasn't got stuck behind them and, and that'll create, you know, pressure when they try and close, so just a quick one server beyond them and that's it well thanks for watching hopefully that was useful to you um, please like subscribe follow the social media links in the description and we'll see you next time